find out how to see the number of tweets for a hashtag, and learn some advanced search tips that are hidden from Twitter's advanced search form. Uh, don't miss it inside the video. Hey, it's Tia from Brand24, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to see the number of tweets for a hashtag, and then I will also show you some Twitter advanced search tips to help you just break through the noise and find the best tweets. How do you see the number of tweets for a hashtag? Um, well, you can try to do this manually directly on the Twitter website. Now, I do not recommend this method, and I will show you why in just a minute. Um, or you can automate counting hashtags with the help of external tools and apps, which is going to be just the best way to do it in most cases. You will understand exactly why that is after I show you what it looks like when you actually try to do this manually. To count tweets for a hashtag on Twitter, the first logical step is to round up just all of the tweets for that hashtag. For example, let's take a hashtag, um, any hashtag like artificial intelligence and just enter it into the Twitter search bar. So from here, you can see um, the top tweets for your hashtag, the same tweets in chronological order, as well as related um, accounts, photos, and videos. So now let's go to the latest tab, just because I feel like this one is the easiest to understand. So this is where you can see all the tweets for hashtag artificial intelligence in chronological order. But since Twitter doesn't show you the number of tweets directly, this is where you'd have to manually count all of the tweets for this hashtag um, in this endless scroll. Like I said, it's not the best idea to do this manually, but this is the only option that Twitter currently gives us within the platform. A much better way to see the number of tweets for a hashtag is to automate the process with the help of external tools and apps that can track hashtags on Twitter. Um, so I might be just a tiny bit biased, but I would recommend using a social media monitoring tool for this. And I say this for two main reasons. So one, uh, because media monitoring tools like Brand24 provide extensive coverage of Twitter and show you just a lot more data beyond just the number of tweets for your hashtag. For example, um, let's take the my campaign slogan hashtag from Jimmy Fallon asking his Twitter followers to make up their own funny campaign slogan and to tweet it with that hashtag for a chance to be featured on The Tonight Show. Um, so Inside Brand24, we can see that this hashtag has over a thousand tweets so far. We can see how much social media reach it has, the number of interactions it got, influential accounts using the hashtag, um, the context of discussions, and the positive and negative sentiment surrounding it and more. So this is the most popular tweet for that hashtag in terms of engagement. I'm putting a link to a blog post that shows you step by step just how to find all of this data down in the description box for this video. So feel free to check that out. Now the second reason I recommend using a media monitoring tool to track your hashtag is because it offers broader coverage. This means that if you are using the same hashtag across multiple platforms and you want to measure how many times it's used on each platform, um, a media monitoring tool can track all of that for you. Now, however, if Twitter is the only platform that you're interested in, then you might want to check out a Twitter management tool like TweetDeck, which it doesn't monitor other platforms because it's totally dedicated to Twitter. So you might even find some more Twitter specific features features there. I would definitely suggest familiarizing yourself with Twitter's advanced search. So even though Twitter doesn't show us the number of tweets for a given hashtag, you can still find lots of important data within the platform if you know how to use Twitter advanced search commands. So we will go over the Twitter advanced search form right now, which lets you find the best tweets based on words, accounts, engagement, and dates. And then I will show you three additional advanced search codes that are not on the form. If you are on your computer, you can just go to twitter.com slash search hyphen advanced. Um, this brings up Twitter's advanced search form. So first we see the word section, which lets you find specific tweets based on words and phrases um, in different languages and that use certain hashtags. Next we have accounts, which lets you identify tweets to, from, or that mention specific accounts. So the engagement section lets you find tweets that got at least a few replies, likes, or retweets. You can specify the amount. And dates lets you search for tweets from specific dates. Um, you can also indicate whether you want to see original tweets, replies, or um, tweets with links. This is everything on the advanced search form. If you use Twitter advanced search commands by entering search codes directly in the Twitter search bar, you can find the best tweets based on even more criteria. So for example, you can find tweets for hashtag artificial intelligence that come from verified Twitter accounts only by entering a filter colon verified space hashtag artificial intelligence. Um, you can see just tweets that contain pictures by entering hashtag artificial intelligence space 
pick. And if you have Twitter lists set up, you can also identify which accounts on your list have been using a specific hashtag by typing list colon your username slash the name of your list with hyphens where there would be any spaces and the hashtag that the tweets should include. So there are a bunch of other advanced search operators on Twitter and we could very easily devote an entire video to this. Um, so if you guys want to learn more about these hidden Twitter advanced search commands, just let me know in the comment section of this video and um, we will cover it. Otherwise, I am going to stop here because we have already covered a lot today and, well, I want to save something for next time. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, thank you. I hope this was helpful and I will see you next week. Bye. <laughs> you like, <sighs> grunge rock. Are you still here? <clears throat> and we're done.